I'm standing here between the past and the future. On my left, I've got some sort of fossil fuels. Um, I think it's oil. And over here, I've got a fully electric car, uh, which has zero emissions if we ignore all the production and recycling and all that. But anyway, this is the Cupra Born, the first Cupra fully electric model. Cupra was sort of uh, invented, or should I say born, out of uh, uh, the Seat uh, to be a more sporty uh, brand. And I do have to say, it does look pretty snazzy. It does look pretty sporty with this front. I love the badge, of course, because I'm a kid. And uh, I especially love this little line here with the Cupra uh, um, text. And, of course, the sort of copper, dark copper contrast of their badge with the rest of the stuff. It looks pretty nice. This Cupra also has a pretty contrasting shape. They will notice you on the road, that's for sure. If not because of all the interesting LED signatures at the front and back, then at least because of the badge. Personally, I like the shape as well as the copper details. The interior prides itself on recycled materials and comfort. A bit like the ID3 and 4, the Born has a very similar infotainment screen. It also has a practically identical instrument cluster behind the wheel. Right now, you can most likely only get one battery option, the 58 kilowatt hour, as well as one engine driving the rear wheels with 150 kilowatts. Because the Born is fully electric, it drives quietly, comfortably and is generally well civilized. And I especially love how quickly you can heat up the interior of electric cars in the winter. Cupra Born starts at just under 39,000 euros. For the fully loaded model with the 58 kilowatt hour battery and extras, you'll be paying just under 50,000 euros. <laughs> 